Hey everyone, so I went to the bread box the other day and I picked up a movie and it's called Dark Girls. And this is what it looks like right here on the front cover. And I got this out the red box machine and I never even knew this existed until the other day. Now I will put a link in the description box where you can watch a trailer of it, which is like it's like a few minutes, a few different clips where you can see uh, what it's talking about and stuff. But I am very happy that I rented this DVD and looked at it. And I actually wrote down some notes while I was watching it because I wanted to come back and discuss some of the things that were said and mentioned in the DVD. And me being a dark-skinned girl, um, I wanted to give my opinion and how... First, I'm going to talk about the DVD, and then at the end, I'm going to talk about my opinion on how I feel about being a dark-skinned girl in this um, time and day. Now, I'm going to go to my notes because um, I organized it as I was watching it. And it started off talking about the history of African Americans, how we were enslaved, we were... Um, treated very badly during slavery, we were called names, and our skin color was another thing that was used to make us feel bad about ourselves. And even among the slaves, like you would have the house slaves and you have the field slaves, usually the house slaves were lighter skin colored and the field slaves were darker skin colored. So a lot of... um what we're going through now started with slavery because we were made to feel bad about the color of our skin. And then they started talking about black people being against black people. And it's like nowadays, I mean, racism exists between all races and stuff. But it's like now it's in our own community. Like black people are racist against other black people. Like because there's so many shades of, of our skin color from high yellow to the black is black. And it's like we start to segregate ourselves and like, oh, she thinks she this and that. Oh, he thinks he that and that based on somebody's skin color. And it's like we're, we're being racist against our own people. And that's just crazy. And that brings me to the next point of colorism, which is... um light versus dark prejudice among ourselves it's like looking at somebody's skin color and judging them not even knowing them just looking at their skin color and then you base an opinion of them because there was even a part in the movie where the documentary where there was the guy he was um, he owned a CD store and they admitted to hiring light skinned people versus dark skinned people because they thought the dark skinned people would steal from them. So that was a stereotype that was developed and it just kept going among their family line. And which brings me to my next point that it's a taught behavior. It, it, stuff like this kind of is a taught behavior because you just subconsciously develop it as a child like especially like if you were in school with predominantly white people or predominantly black and you're the opposite race you kind of develop you know if the kids are making fun of you because there were kids in the um, movie people relating experiences when they were a kid and they would get called all kind of names because of their skin color and so it kind of starts young and then you get the self-esteem issues and just not a good cycle that starts to repeat itself. Now the next point I put, um, people make themselves feel better by putting others down. That is so true, even today. Even on YouTube, there are people who will make rude comments, people who have nothing else to do but put others down to make themselves feel better. And that comes back to self-esteem and issues with one's own self if you have to make somebody else feel bad to make your feel to make yourself feel better then you need to do some soul searching you need to do some kind of like i don't know if you need to do therapy or 
talk to a shrink or something, but it's something within you. Maybe it happened years ago, but something in you is not happy. You need to talk to somebody about it because making others feel bad, bad or trying to make others feel bad about themselves is not going to help you in life. You have to love yourself, you know, to feel good about yourself. The next point um, that I put, they were, they started to interview black men in the video, asking black men how did they feel about light skinned women or white women versus dark skinned women. And there was actually a guy in the video and they actually blurred his face out. And he said that he prefers light skinned women because Dark skinned women, he feels weird. Um, he said dark, dark women look funny beside me. And I was thinking to myself, like, what does that mean? Because, I mean, he wasn't dark skinned. He was kind of like brown skinned, but I'm sure your mother was black or your dad is black. And you're talking about a black woman feels weird standing beside you. Like, really? And you came from a black family. But, um, going on to the next point, let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, um, I wrote white white men and black women, and then I wrote um, black men with white women. And I wrote that because in the DVD, they interviewed some white men who had actually married black women. And then they asked them, like, why, you know, why did, what made you want a black woman? And they said... It wasn't necessarily the color, it was the person, which is what we all should feel about somebody. Not their color, but the character, the person, who they are. You know, no matter what color you are, it should be the person within who you fall in love with. And um, let me move on to the next point because this video is getting lengthy. Um, I actually wanted to talk about that a little longer because um, I'm a cashier. And I actually have white men make passes at me. And it surprises me because, you know, some black men are looking at me like, like whatever. And here goes white men, you know what I'm saying, wanting my phone number and wanting to take me on dates and stuff. And I'm not saying all black men are looking at me like that, but I'm just, just to know that there's black men who want to accept me because I'm dark skinned, but yet there's white men out there. That will. It's crazy. Which, I mean, there's white men who won't, who's racist, but I'm just saying just the fact that there are white men that would want me versus a black man that, you know. But moving on to the next point, they started talking about black women bleaching their skin and white women tanning their skin. And it's so crazy because it boils down to people being somebody, trying to be somebody else who they're not. Um, black women trying to um, get lighter skin color because they feel like lighter is beautiful. While here are some black, here are some white women trying to tan their skin. They're sitting out in the sun trying to get darker skin when we already have it and they're trying to get it. But some of us are trying to make our skin lighter. And it's like, be happy with who you are. I mean, moving on to the next point, they started talking about music videos, especially with, like, black men. And a lot of the videos, not 100%, but the majority of the videos with black men, whether it's R&B, rap, they got light-skinned girls in their videos versus dark-skinned girls. And I've noticed this a lot myself. Even some of my favorite singers and rappers, you know, you turn that video on, the majority, the majority of the time, you're gonna see a light skinned girl in the video, Latino, um, a white woman, or something like that, versus a black woman. And that's kind of disturbing to me because I would actually like to see more black women in videos with black men. I mean, I'm not racist. I'm not saying this how it should be. I'm just saying I would like to see more of it. Like, instead of every time you turn it on, you know, there's somebody else. And we're we're just getting tossed to the side. Like, we get put in a video every now and then to, like, shake our butts. But anyway, moving on. Um, I put a star. And I put, it's important to be yourself. 
it's important to be yourself. Love yourself. How can you expect someone to love you and care for you if you don't love yourself? I mean, that's the bottom line about it. And then they included the, um, somebody was talking about the, the song India Ari wrote, I am not my hair. I am not my skin. I am the soul that lives within. And that's so true because your hair does not define you. Your skin color does not define you. You define you. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can call you names, say what they want. I understand how things happen over time and racism, but you define you. You are beautiful. Whether you are light skin, medium skin, Carmelo, brown skin, dark skin, whatever you are, you are beautiful. If you're white, if you're olive skin, if you're Asian, you are beautiful. And the quicker we realize that, the happier we would be and we would stop trying to be somebody else. Not saying that everybody is trying to be somebody else, but for some of the ladies who are trying to be something that they're not. Um, some people may say by by some black women relaxing their hair that they're trying to be white. I don't necessarily agree with that. Everybody has things that they like and they don't like. If you like to relax your hair, then that's you. That doesn't mean that you're not being true to your blackness. That just means that that's something that you like to do and everybody has their opinion on that. But since this video is already very long, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up by saying I love myself. I have grown. When I was a little girl, I did have insecurities about being a dark skinned girl. But now that I have become an adult and I understand things more clearly, I realize that I am beautiful. I love myself and everybody else should love themselves. So um, that's my bit on that movie, you guys. Go check it out. Go to the Red Box. Go get it. It's a lot of good stuff in there that I'm glad they talked about that some people might have been afraid to talk about. So if you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thanks for watching.